Well, it's something no parent wants to hear. Your child has an extremely rare form of cancer. That news was delivered to a War Road family earlier this year. And while four-year-old Knox Olofsson's fight is far from over, his parents are already working to help others going through the same thing. Alyssa Guck has the story. Sand, I'm getting a call for this water. Well, it obviously came out of nowhere, so it was and a real we'll shock. Go back to uh, cousin's house. But okay. Knox has been a real trooper. Knox Olafson is just four years old. I'm not going to break it. You're not going to break it? Good. It was February when a backyard accident. He fell, not a big deal. Um, got up, complained of a sore ankle. We put ice on it, and that was the end of it. Became something more. He began just a slight limp. We thought it was maybe growing pains. We kind of just watched it a little bit. Then at a well child check, I had the doctor look it over. He didn't notice anything abnormal. Sent us home. Then about another week passed and my gut just said, I think it's more. But nothing could prepare Christy and Jared so for what was to come. Saying. Well, he's just had one, one dose of chemo so far and it was pretty rough. Knox was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a rare cancer that grows inside the bones. There are only about 400 cases in the U.S. and it's more rare for kids. He has three consecutive weeks, two weeks off and then another two weeks and then we'll have a major surgery and then another 17 weeks of chemo. It's a year's worth of treatment that would bring pain to any parent. From a father's standpoint, it's I'm never... go back to cousin's house now. Pretty quick. It's no. never easy to see your little man suffer like that or go through what he has to go through. While the survival rate for osteosarcoma yeah. patients is 75%, Jared is even more optimistic. The chances are very, very high that we won't. He's going to be with us forever. Um, actually, the chances are 100% because I know that he's going to beat it, and I know that I'm going to be right there watching him beat it. Mommy, what? here comes your tootsie roll. Are you sharing? Yeah. <laughs> Me and Daddy. Now, in the midst of everything they're going through, Knox's parents are giving back, and they want you to help. Brighter Tomorrows is an organization that helps families of children who are cancer survivors. Dare to be Bear is a community head shaving event to stand by Knox and raise money for Brighter Tomorrow. And Dare to be Bear was at War Road High School tonight for that event. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.